want to basically be sensible, right? And so we already talked about this. You don't want to scan closed files. There's no value there. And if the files haven't been open for that long, maybe for a month or so, that's fine. But I wouldn't start with those files. I would start scanning and start your process with completely new cases and pick one, right? Pick one case, see how it goes, kind of understand the sequence. You'll have questions. Your staff may have questions. You may discover ways that you want to work with digital information that if you asked me how to do it, I told you, you'd find that's not the best way for you. So, you know, you can figure it out what's best for you. You just have to get comfortable. But the way to get comfortable is to start slow and small. And then what's going to happen is at some point you start to pick up pace really quickly. You'll get a sense of what you want to do. And then you'll say, well, this file hasn't been open that long. Let's go get that one. And then you'll start scanning backwards for files that have been open longer. At some point, either you'll scan those few remaining files that have been open a long time because now you really know how to do it. You know that if you do it, you know exactly what you're doing and what you're going to get. Or you just wait till those files close, and then eventually you're going to have nothing but cases or, or matters that are completely digital. Obviously, you're going to keep the papers you need to keep, but that's not going to be a lot of paper. So that's it. And then the next question that lawyers have once they start thinking, well, yes, okay, I'm going to go down this path. Well, what about ethics issues? And there are you know, a lot of things you can think about here, but basically the message for American lawyers given by the American Bar Association in the 2020 commission was that you need to pay attention to technology. You can't just be saying, well, I don't like it. Um, you have to obviously look at the risks, but you also have to weigh the benefits. And if the benefits outweigh the risks, then you need to use technology that makes sense for you and helps you do a better job for your client. That's part of competence. So the one thing that lawyers who are thinking about doing this or know that they're invariably going to wind up in this paperless world should do is recraft their engagement letter. So the engagement letter, I'm sure most of you, if not all of you, have engagement letters that you send to your clients. And if you don't, you should because they kind of define the relationship. And you'll have lots of provisions in there about how you're going to represent the client and so forth. But there should be provisions in there uh, as soon as possible that address the question of how you would handle their matter if it was digital. So if you disclose to them that you intend to handle their information digitally and they consent to that today, then if two years from now you suddenly are able to digitize everything, they will have already consented to that and that will make your life much easier. So this is something that you should build in there today. Basically a good engagement letter would say you'll scan everything to PDF, so you're disclosing that. 